All right, so we're still in quarantine here and it looks like this could be our last day of surf. So we're gonna go out this secret little spot right here. Can't tell you where it is, because it's very secret, but we're gonna go catch a couple waves on this fish. And yeah, I'm going pretty fast. sunscreen on are we on are we filming we're on get this there's still waves on North Shore it's not big or anything or pipeline but we're gonna go surf some fun little sandbar lefts and rights and we're gonna just hang on to this winter season like like no other I think there's gonna be tons of waves like this for as far as we can see like a week out right now so we're gonna be surfing every day it's not like the greatest conditions the weather's kind of funky but it's still fun and great. So if you guys could subscribe to the channel, like this video, check out the merch, that'd be great, it really helps. Also, in other news, it's really off topic, but I just seen something that the Pentagon released three videos of UFOs, confirmed them. There were videos that were leaked in 2017 and they just confirmed them, that they're UFOs. What if we see an alien? In our lifetime how epic would that be so I just got another brand new Pizel breadstick designed by yours truly Koa Rothman signature model again you guys at home you can do this to your surfboard breadstick yeah brand new board fun waves doesn't get much better Mason Barnes Look at that. Oh. Through my purple surfboard. I had it first. I have proof. I had it years first. Years ago, years ago. I have proof. Not do this right now. I swallowed so much salt water. That whole session I had like 
maybe five gulps of salt water on accident. Countless duck dives. But you know what? I still had a great time because I haven't surfed in quite some time since that wipeout I had. And I felt a little off, but I still had still a lot of fun. Oh my God, look at these wiener dogs. <laughs> they, they can barely run on the sand. Wow. Fun sash. Maybe get back out there. I don't know. The weather is really off and on and getting windier and windier. So, could be a chill day, could be a surf all day. It's only like 11 o'clock, so we got time. Had some food, coffee, and waited for our evening session. We we're gonna go back out to the sandbar, but it like was looking super funky and windy, so we decided to take a little drive and go to this Mista little zone and surf this fun little wave that has no one out. This where we are right now is kind of known for being a little sharky, so it's kind of sketchy, but there's a really fun wave, and I think we'll be okay. The water is super clear right now. It's not murky or anything, so that's when it really gets scary. You go to a sharky place and it's like all murky out. You don't know what's below you or anything. And all you hear is stories of sharks, of people getting attacked or seeing them or like getting really close to them. But it takes a little bit of the edge off when it's nice, crystal clear, blue water. So we're gonna go try to have a good time. Try this board out again. It's a little smaller than I would normally ride, like thin and not as wide, but I feel like in smaller waves, like we're about to go surf, it's gonna work really good. So, I'm out there. Dude, shark. I think I jinxed it by talking about it before we went out. Dude, me and Mason are sitting there on the inside. It's like we're sitting way in trying to get the little reform. And all of a sudden there's just four grown men scratching towards us. There's like, we're seeing a huge tiger shark. I'm like, are you sure it was a tiger? Like was there, was there a, like a white or black tip on it? And he's like, no, there were stripes. That thing must have been like eight feet. It was like thrashing all over the place. Very spooky, and then the whole lineup just paddled straight into the rocks. Of course, of course. The one time I come and surf down here and talk about it, I fully jinxed it. So heavy. Amazing. The one time Koa finally comes and surfs where I love to surf, of course, is a shark. I'm kind of glad I didn't see it. But the guys are like, it was just thrashing. Those were like big dudes too. They're like, can you imagine? Those things are bigger than real tigers and are completely pure muscle. That's not what you want to go toe to toe with, especially in the ocean. It's a big, 
big dangerous creature. Like if it was a little reef shark, it'd be fine. You know, they don't really attack humans. But tiger sharks, that's a whole different aggressive level of a shark. So, and that's what this place is known for. I jinxed it. Dude, we fully got chased in by a shark. That sucks. Session was getting so fun. Whatever. When things like that happen, like, just, just go in. It's not worth it, you know? Especially tigers, and I'm sure where a lot of you are from, you guys have great whites. I don't fuck with those things. They're giant, giant creatures, fish. Just pure muscle in their element, and you're like nothing to them. Nothing. You can't fight them when they get that big, like... Whoa, spooky. We live to surf another day. Um, well, we're at the Sunrise Shack, obviously, to get an Asa Evil and some coffee. But we have some pretty cool new merch. We got this black tie-dye t-shirt. We have the colorful tie-dye. Can you see the back? And these new coffee mugs. Oh, there it is. And a lot more on the website. The link will be in the bio if you guys want to shop anything from the Sunrise Shack. We have all kinds of new stuff. Um, go check it out, support us, grab whatever you want. And yeah, let's have a good day. So right now we are going to our local like community medical center and we are going to help my brother Makua and Zach Noyle have started this foundation called Everyone Hawaii. And they're a nonprofit that like really supports people in need in Hawaii and like just want to help make a difference in everything. And right now, it is about flattening the curve here in Hawaii. The curve, I hear that a lot, but the rate of people getting sick from COVID-19. And they actually got one million face masks donated, or they got they raised enough money to get one million face masks here to Hawaii and are passing them out free. So we're gonna go help them set up, pass them out, and try to flatten this COVID-19 curve here in Hawaii. So, yeah. Make sure everyone has a face mask. You know, they sold out really quick here and not everyone had a chance to buy them. And people just bought like tons of them out of panic. So you need a mask to go into a grocery store anywhere basically right now. So if you don't have a mask, you're kind of you're kind of blown. So this is all about helping make sure everyone has their essential things to live their life right now. Sorry, my truck is so so loud. The muffler fell off. So I've yet to get it fixed. That's why it's just so loud. I hope you could hear everything I was saying. If you guys could subscribe to my channel, like this video, check out the merch. It really helps. Your guys' subscriptions are like, we love it. Your guys' subscriptions will help me get a new muffler. I, I thought you were telling me to stop. I was like, oh, who is this? Just shook Claw's hand, no telling what he's been touching. Make sure I sand sanitizer. <laughs> We're here at Kahuku Medical Center. Um, thanks to Koa, Makua, Jamie, Eli, Nate. Everyone's out here and protecting their community. This is all because of Zach. Him and his team have helped bring more awareness and support to our local communities that kind of get forgotten about. And it's really cool to see them do that. And we're going to be here all day. Safety. Mathematics. Okay. Okay. Alright guys, how many family members do you guys have? Uh, well there's three of us here, but there's two more at home. Okay, let me grab you another one. Here's some hand sanitizer okay. as well. Hi! Hey, nice you guys! Hi, guys. Hey, I'll take that. Good. Oh, good. So you see those two guys right there? Kimo Kennedy, Zach Noyle. 
And um, without those two guys right there creating everyone Hawaii, with uh, Robert Caruso and uh, Ryan Matsumoto, uh, we wouldn't be here today. So I want to thank them very, very much, especially for coming out. I want to thank Senator Gear Rivera, KHO and 2 News, Star Advertiser, um, and everybody for covering this wonderful event. Um, a lot of people think the North Shore ends at VLAN or it ends at Sunset Beach. This is actually the most northern point of the island right here. And um, from Kahuku, Turtle Bay towards Kahuku to Laie, it kind of gets forgotten a lot, especially in um, events, charitable do donations, and um, uh, just recognition period. So we want to bring some recognition to this side of the island, which is really the North Shore, and um, spread our aloha to the community. That's why we're here today. Would you like some masks? There's five in each one too. Oh, there's five in each? Yeah. So oh, that's plenty. So expensive. We'll give you one hand sanitizer too. That's why I need my coffee. How much coffee will I have today? Yeah, Kyogi. It's a good question. I don't even know at this point. Why oh, another right? song? <laughs> they can tell by the split of the eye. <laughs> Perfect, guys. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. I already hear the music. I hear the I can't stop. music right now while we're doing that. <laughs>